Welcome everyone, it is Unstoppable Stiletsi again, coming to you with yet another coverage of the Great War Rage patch with another Civ preview. Now, initially the plan was maybe do USA or Australia or maybe another culture, but because we have so many Juanitos Benitos in our community, they said let's do another Juanito Civ, por favor. So... You know, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to cover another Juanito Civ. Looked through the patch notes a bit, and I figured, you know what? Let's give uh, Bolivia a try. One of the more newer Latin American Civs. See what they have to offer. Now, the recording screen might look a bit different than usual. I got some assistance today with one of the professional casters at DE3, and they gave me some good suggestions of how to improve the graphics quality a little bit on this monitor. The plan is to eventually buy an HD monitor to attach to this laptop so we can get even better graphical viewing, but with these settings I hope you'll enjoy the graphics quality a little bit more with a bit of a better frame rate and as well as a bit of a bit better resolution as well than normal. Tell me how you think of it if you like the old sayings of these ones. Now we're going to be playing this match on Chaco Oriental. It's the human region in the between Paraguay, Argentina, and Brazil. One of the newer maps. Let's see how we end up doing against this uh, Bolivia, this uh, Chile bot our arch nemesis. Um, hopefully we can destroy our arch nemesis with ease. Hmm, interesting. New All my Chaco. warriors gather around me, and together we send you a greeting of doom. Now, there was some pretty substantial changes to the Bolivia civilization, as you can imagine. If you recall, the Bolivians were set to be a religion and native civilization. And as you know, religion is no more. There is no such thing as religion in this mod. So, their civ obviously had to go some pretty substantial changes to their civ bonuses. One change you'll notice in the civ bonuses is the fact that now, as you get native lore, native technologies, you'll have an XP trickle instead of the faith trickle. For pretty obvious reasons. There was apparently some bonus for religious texts that improved the bounty of natives or something like that. That was obviously kicked out since religious texts are no longer a thing. One more thing you're going to probably enjoy a lot is, is uh... Your villagers no longer die of cancer, apparently. They had this weird bonus or anti-bonus where they slowly start to get really weak. Regardless of what the description says, now they stay the same amount of health all the time as other villagers do. Which should make playing them a little bit more enjoyable and comfortable. And a lot of people didn't like the fact that they slowly lost their HP. And we were sort of strong arming people into making them into the yellow soldiers. Now you have a lot more leeway and flexibility. Which it's it's rather good to just give people options, not strong arm them into doing certain things. It might not be in their interest gameplay wise. This is a new update card, Carnival de Aurora. This used to involve a faith trickle, but as you know, faith trickles are no more. Well, actually, now that I look at the change log, it actually dealt with villager praying. Obviously, you can't pray for religion, you can't research anymore, so they had to update it to give you a temple wagon and a crate of XP to help jumpstart you towards your next shipment. The way I see this being used is starting out with Carnival de Aurora. And then we get Marianism right after that to get another temple. So that way we can really start farming up that XP early on. Now, they really should update this to letting you build your temple in age 1. Since it's kind of weird having to keep your wagon on the sidelines. But other than that, I kind of like the concept. 
I think we'll just age up with uh, 14 Pongos. Should be good enough, I think. And for immigration, I mean, we could really do just about any of these. I think probably the smart way to go is probably... Hmm, I don't know. What would you do? I guess it's... Hell, I'll go for Croats, you know? Maybe we could get an early labor, an early mining camp going with this wood. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And obviously, I'll send Marianism next. The idea is, once we hit the second age, we're going to have a lot of XP trickling in. Also, I'm going to be looking to grab a native settlement of some kind. We obviously have the Guarani, which are skirmisher base, and then we have the Guayacolu, which are a siege cavalry. Let's go for the shock unit. It'll help a bit with scouting. And we could also obviously do some sí. siege work to give the enemy some trouble. Right now our churches are just going to sit here and wait. And then once we reach that age up, we'll instantly turn these into churches. And get some really serious XP out of them. That's the plan. Building our first native settlement here. We'll be able to make some quick units instantly out of this thing. Should be quite good. Uh, yep. How much do they cost? Uh, yeah, not, not a bad cost. We'll definitely get some out early. Which we definitely want. Cool. Uh, church cheese. Let's go. Nice. Super duper XP. Let's go. Put our Croat Selman up. Get this wood out of the... Yeah, we're gonna have to get the wood piles off the pathway here first. Um, let's get some of these natives going. Let's see if there's any... Now the... Yeah, let's see if we can get this upgrade on them too early on. Cool thing with that would be is... Uh, basically, we would be able to get an even bigger XP trickle. So maybe move, I don't know, some of our gatherers over to the coin right now. Get that technology. And go for a bit of early raiding with these, uh, Apollo Kane riders. 20 siege, uh, not bad. Should be able to do quite a bit of damage with these early on. Cool one thing about these knaves is, is they ride the horses sideways, right? They don't um, stay on top of the horse. You can see them sort of climbing there on the edge of the horse's side. You get some yellow soldiers, keep them near the mine. Bit of protection. I remember doing this uh, map very early on during the Latin American patch up preview and it was pretty fun I guess they had to remove it for a bit to fix some things and then they re-released it it appears uh, what, what to do now uh, let's get a house up I am gonna get this uh, upgrade once again of comida put up a market I'm just looking around right now to see where the bot is. All right, the bot is right here. Can we do some damage? Uh, maybe. Brutal. I like that. Bit of rating. Get a bill, why not? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll get this too. It'll help get our build limit of the yellow soldiers up a bit. And give us some free ones as well. Get some hunting dogs. It's a great food tech to get early on. Do we need any coin? Probably not. So let's get under some wood or something. Unless we... Uh, I'll get a barracks up in case we need some infantry. Shouldn't need too much early on. Also, I'm going to get our sarnas early on in case we need any yellow soldiers really fast. 
Uh, steel traps, why not? It's a great technology to get sooner rather than later. Finally, I will... Yep. Ultima. Yeah, it's kind of sad he wasn't built already, but that's alright. We can't even make any immigrant units from him yet anyways, so... Not really much of an issue for me. Yeah, let's get some uh, armor on these uh, cavalry. 60. Oh, that's actually really good. Really good values. They'll definitely meet shield a lot of his range units. And if we can spare any wood too, we can get a mining camp up and maybe get some extra stuff. In terms of booming. I'll add in some Daza Grenadiers as well. These are pretty good Grenadiers. Pretty speedy too. Now that we researched that native tech knows how quickly we're getting shipments now. It's definitely proved itself to be pretty good. I'm gonna get Saltpeter tax now just to make our coin cards that much better going forward. If we have any sort of uh, age ups to give us coin crates, that would also be kind of helpful, I think. Don't think that we do, but that's alright. Seem to be doing pretty good right now. I think the real magic is going to happen when we hit the capital age, because that's when we can start sending infinite machetros or potentially immigrants as well. I'm gonna get some more native cab as well. 50% armor, that's really good. It's really good armor value. It really prevents any Vivendera threats to our economy. Uh, yep, get some stone washing, get that mining rate up. I think we're just gonna play it safe and defend for right now. We could also move up and get this uh, Guarani settlement as well. Would definitely be helpful. We don't need to make any more yellow soldiers, I think, so we're good on that front. Okay, I'm gonna pick up another house. Bring these Dazas up here. Keep the forces together. Yeah, that Chilean butt's really moving ahead and... Yeah, let's use the Grenadiers to actually get some splash on these defensive guardians. Cool, nice. We're gonna get that treasure right now. How we doing economically? I mean, we could be doing better, certainly, but uh, I think right now the point would be to get the coin. Because now the coin crates are just a little bit better now. I think we might actually have enough to age up right away now that we've improved the coin crates and what they include in them. Pick up this other native settlement as well. The more native techs we can get the better because it means more XP trickles for us. Seems like a very XP trickle friendly sieve and great again shipments out if you play them the right way. See if they have any early technologies we can acquire with this uh, native settlement. Can also make some of their native skirmishes as well, as well that slow down enemy units like Duke of Suffering does. Uh, communal makes buildings easier to construct them faster. Now that's a pretty cheap tech to get. Let's get that. Add in some of their native skirms as well. Now one thing I am going to do though is make sure that I don't use up that silver mine if possible. Because you do need a mine to use a mining camp. So if you lose all the mines around you, you can no longer make mining camps. So it incentivizes you to save at least a little bit of coin in your mines just so you can keep building the mining camps there to help you boom up. Which I'm actually going to do now. I'm going to build a mining camp right here. While we can. Get some nice free pongos from it. Help us get ahead and eco a bit. 
How are we doing? Are, oh, that's not good. Let's let's go home. Is that? Is he making na are those natives? Are those those are escoltas. Yeah, those those are kind of dangerous. Let's uh, get those. So it looks like what we're gonna need is the nets, probably, to deal with these. Hmm. Not looking too good. He put the four right in front of us. Right down our throats. That's kind of brutal. I don't like that. Uh, but what can you do? Um, I guess next we get Italians, maybe. I mean, we could... Um, yeah, let's get the Italian houses. Should give us a bit of an economic boost. Help us get our farming upgrades. Be a bit cheaper as well. Kinda lucky we're having these mining camps going. Mine camps up, recover our eco as much as we need. Let's move off of the mining now and maybe save the mine's coin for later. How many, uh, yep. Let's get a stable too. We need a stable for your nuts because this bot loves to spam Escoltas. We're gonna need uh, a couple of your nets to defend ourselves with, especially if he has the Ford that close to us. Yeah, while we have the wood, just keep adding uh, mining camps. Helps you get ahead in your fill, fill pop pretty quickly. Then I'll build an even another uh, mining camp after this one's done. Sculptors. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm just going to lure them in with the skirmishers maybe and then take them out. Yeah, that's cool. This actually helps with with uh, kiting assault units. You can actually use the Duke of Suffering to make them slow enough that you can actually kite the assault unit with very little damage in return. Yeah, we're just gonna keep booming and booming and booming, I think. I'm gonna put another mine camp down since the build limit goes up with the change up. What is he doing to me? Jeez. Not leaving me alone at all. This is not good. Put those native cab on top of the escort to just get him out of here. We have a couple of units. I think we can deal with him for a while. Maybe discourage him just enough. Also, uh, yeah, let's get some machetros. Send croup cannon. But I don't have any artillery, man. Why are you doing that? All right with me. You want to be frivolous with your resources? That pet, that helps me out, a great deal. Really be scared if you're using your resources effectively. If you're gonna just waste them and be frivolous with them, that benefits me more than anything. Uh, let's get these down. These Italian houses down. How many workers do we have from? I'm probably going to try to keep these on the houses because that's where they do their best work. I'll actually put them on coin because we don't seem to have any real mining resources around us. We have a little bit on our silver mine, but I don't want to use any more of it so we can keep sending mining camps instead. Yeah, I'm going to just keep making you nuts with whatever sort of uh, coin is coming in. Yeah, let's swap this to coin. We could even add... Uh, can we add another worker to it? Or are we stuck at capped at... Th yeah, we're capped at three for right now because we only sent one Italian Egypt so far. Yeah, I'm just going to send some more machetros. I, nah. I'm going to start building a bit of a hacienda too. Get some comida. Uh, another hacienda. Okay. Un hacienda más. Cool. Uh, 
let's upgrade our machetras too since they're going to be the main unit we're going to be shipping in for defense that combined with the units to kill the assaults I think we'll be able to do with a lot of different things now one thing I would like to do is get yet another um, technology in one of the native sites just so we can uh, Bear from huntables and fishing ships, this could be quite useful. This will give us even more XP. Shipments arrive quicker. Yeah, these are pretty cheap native tracks to acquire. Which is going to make our XP trickle rate even better. Okay, we'll get some more machetros. I really should have packed in some more Machetro combat cards, though, since we're going to be relying on them so much. That's alright. They're pretty good for the Civ since they get Royal Guard status. Also, why no, um... Do you have any meat around here? We do actually, right about... We have some meat over here on this side. Some carne right here. Is that a woodworks? He put the woodworks right near us. Where's his town? He's actually pretty close to us, which is kind of a problem. I was expecting to see a woodworks within my base's vicinity like that. It just shows you how close he is to us. So. Uh, get over there and uh, build some mining camps. We need mining camps right now. I'm going to put about two of them down. But I'm Pongo count up. The more Pongos we can get, the better. Yep. Get some more Pongos. Also, you'll enjoy some rebalanced stats with the unique Bolivian units like the Francotirador and the Kayaruna as well, which is always nice. That's another nice little bit of this patch. Also, they fixed the uh, Societad Folklorica card. Before, it used to have a bug where it would send twice. Once you reach the Imperial Age, now it just sends once like it's supposed to. Just something to keep in mind as you're playing them. How many bills do we got? I want to max ourselves out as much as we possibly can. If we can max ourselves out, that would be really good. Let's uh, get the coin, actually. If we could get industrial aid soon and start um, upgrading stuff, that would be kind of nice. I got another farm, yeah. Hacienda. Start getting some of the Hacienda upgrades as well. Yeah, see, these uh, coin crates get 600 now after sending the salt pier tax. Quite effective. I'm just curious how we're going to beat out this Chilean bar in the end. We're going to have to come up with a solid strategy. To avoid dying. Uh, build another Hacienda. How many we have right now? About four. Let's max them out as best as we can. I'll even get the second Hacienda technology as well. That could certainly help us out quite a bit. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, I think. Yep, once we get all that coin, we should be able to industrialize soon. Which would be quite helpful. Oh, this bot's already thinking about Great War Age. <laughs> Doesn't make me feel too good. Let's 
me feel really scared for what's gonna come. What about you? Are you scared? What's gonna come? I mean, I would be if this book actually knew how to use the Great War Age effectively. Maybe, maybe it does. Maybe it does know how to use the Great War Age effectively. We'll have to wait and see. The Legos, oh boy, the bot knows how to make those nasty buggers. That's not good. Uh, yeah, let's get industrialization going. I like this, this gives a lot of comida. We really need that. We don't really need cherry orchards, we can really use that though. Help us get some nice free maneuver units for the Escoltas as well. Got so much wood right now. He's, for some reason, he really wants to press on this redoubt. So I'm just gonna fight back here a bit. Say, no man, that's my redoubt. Don't you dare touch it. That's my redoubt. You're gonna doubt why you even attack my redoubt when it's all said and done. A culverin, but there's no artillery. That's kind of embarrassing. Punch this thing. Poke it, whatever. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack the base with this large army I amass. I mean, as long as we have enough units, I think we can keep pressure in this area. Also, I want to get the Sociedad Flor... Yep, the Sociedad Flor Glorica soon. You know, really helps with the native build limits. And with all this uh, floating food and wood, I would say just go full native. Go full native on him. He's not gonna like it. Yeah, let's get the uh, wonderful building now. Cool. How many can, of these can we actually make now this late into the match? Uh, yeah, it adds up over time. That's good. Where's our wonderful uh, building? Um, cool. Put that down right over here and watch the fireworks. It makes fireworks. Mm hmm. Let's get this. This could. This will help the cavalry cheaper in the long haul. It'll actually make all our shock units cheaper. Not just the native ones. Yeah, now this is where it becomes a real siege unit, it looks like. Got lots and lots of XP trickles now, working in tandem. This is really going to help us keep up with our shipments. And one thing I think we are going to do, though, when we get coin, is we are going to definitely focus on sending one of our native, infinite native shipments. What are you doing, man? You know what I'm going to do with that. That's just a bad idea. You know? You know what I'm going to do to you. I'm just going to steamroll you in that location. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Uh, let's get a... Brutal. Yeah, see, he's just this this Chilean bot is just throwing so hard it's almost like Oh yeah, let's get him to veteran status. Oh that's gonna save me. Yeah, yeah. Good try, good try. I'm smarter than that.
No coin, uh. You know what I might do? I might actually just, uh. How much would one of these lovely cards cost? Quite a bit. Now we can just get Machetros, I guess. Yeah. Get those up to RG. I think we'll be ready to kill them soon. If that's the case. Yeah. Quite a few natives we can produce. You know what? Actually, let's start um, pump, pumping towards our uh, other wonderful native unit, the Illamani. That would be, that'd be a good use of time, I think. Get Carnival. Get another shipment. Queuing one truck. Oh, I'm so scared. He just ends up leaving the trucks there and not doing anything with them. Okay, let me send in... What will be the next one? This one, I guess? Yeah. Be the next one to go with. Cool. I mean, we're almost quite there. We just need about four more cards, and then we can start making Novamanis. We might just do that. I would love to go after them with a big, gigantic swarm of natives. Just completely decimate them. That would be fun. See how much natives we can spam. Constructor. Cool. Diga. Ari. Aha. Let's get Missiones, actually, and you know what we could do? We could actually just cancel out our queue of natives for now, and just send these again when we get more, um, get Missiones, because Missiones will actually, uh, buff up the bounty we get from these natives when they're trained by about double. Yeah, let's do that. I kind of wish I thought about that first before again more of them. It's alright. It's okay. I'm also gonna look around down here to see if this one's taken yet. Because if not, I'm just gonna grab that one too. May as well. May as well. how much nails we can actually make. Fun to watch. Get the upgrades up too on Oh no, nah, yeah, he took this one. That's bad. Um, what about down here? Is there any nails down here we can grab? Just keep that bounty up. You know, I'm going to be a bit greedy here to get that Elmani up. I'm just going to delete some of these and just keep training them again. Yeah, let's be greedy. Greedy with the XP. Let's get that XP up, man. Super duper quick. 
Sí, cierto. Plantation upgrades. Let's get Mande. those two while we can. Uh, let's also get our build limit up on the bills too while, while we have some spare time. I'm trying to work my way up to Omani. Let's get a town hall up. Let's get all our key buildings up now. Arsenal, do we have one yet? I don't know if we have an arsenal yet. Might want one. Who knows? Oh, we'll get these. They'll help us move faster at the Colorados. those on the plantation. Si, tata? Ya voy. Constructor. Construct. Constructor. Yeah, I think the way to go would probably be the red shirts. Honestly. Get more salt. Get that chopping upgrade as well. I go back. How much is the thirty? That's pretty good. Three to go, that's gonna be a kind of a long wait. Just wanna max this out as best as we can, this uh, native rush. Cause you can see here he has like almost like more than double our score. And also I wanna see, you know, if you give the bot enough time, how far does he actually dwell into producing for Great War Age? Does he really build a lot of trucks? Like what does he do with all of them? Building shipyard? Starring an oil rig build plan? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Let's let this bud do his work for a little bit. Uh, native war is kind of useless now since we have all the native texts we need. Maybe this one. Or maybe native militia, actually. Probably care more about the cost than anything right now. Yeah, let's grab our Cardio. He doesn't cost a pop. He could probably be a uh, good little support unit for us against the immigrant units. Just chilling right now. Seeing what this bot can do in Great War Age against us. Yeah, let's take out that fort. Might behoove us to get that out now. Get that out of the way. Definitely give us some more XP to work with too towards our native massing plans. No upgrades on the maneuver. Yeah, that's not very smart with all these machetros. He could have really uh, did himself a real favor by having at least the guard upgrades on these maneuver units. What's that machine gun?
oil rig. Oh wow, the bud actually stuck to his great war plan. Armored armored car, wow, the bud actually went to the great war age this time and did it well. I'm impressed. I'm just gonna get this board out of here. Yeah, I'm kind of interested now what this bot has in store for us now. They, they're actually starting to make some of those great warriors. Oh, they built the tank as well. Uh, this is actually a little concerning because um, I wasn't expecting him. Oh, he's building the planes as well. Oh, God. This is, I don't know what to think of this situation. Uh, Yeah, let's go home. I don't want to attempt to make more than I already have. What is this, like, a uh, scout unit? So yeah, it doesn't look like any of our... Actually, putting the Annettes in melee would probably be the best way of dealing with those. Potentially, yeah. Get another stable going and get our cavalry training upgrades here. This is the first time you'll see me dealing with the bot in the Great War Rage. Make some machettes. Good, get that out of there. Yeah, I'd even have a guard upgrade on my maneuvers. Like, if he comes forward with a or more armored cars, putting these in the melee will give me a pretty good advantage against them. Also, why don't we just upgrade these uh, KUs a little bit? Training raid, let's go. Almost can go total native spam on him. Great. Hmm. I don't know. Sculpt spam, man. That's nasty stuff. Nasty stuff, man. I don't like that. It's definitely annoying to deal with. Uh, let's get some damage on these uh, genets, too. This up there. Armored car. Ooh! Nice. Score. Score, man. That. See, that that's a that's a good tip for you to do. If you see armored cars and you don't, you're not up in the Great War. Just stick them in the melee, and you'll be able to take them out pretty easily. I'll train the riders out of this one, I think. One thing we can do too is actually build a native embassy as well. Help relieve some of our queuing time. A young Gale. Yeah, one more of these and I think we're good. I'm just gonna grab uh, grab this mining here since we already have a mine over there. 
señor. La tienda es desigual. This is kind of fun because I didn't know the bot could actually. Yeah, now let's start spamming out these uh, Illamanis. I like these guys. They're great at sieging and they're great against uh, maneuver units. Maybe they maybe they bug the unit a bit. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it looks like maybe the unit's bugged or something. Yeah, I, yeah, that's all right. I'll report that before they release the patch that the Almani mall needs to be fixed. Yeah, let's just uh, kill this guy then. I think we're good. Boy, I think we're good to go. Defeat him. What's the bud doing? He's for some reason he's letting me hit him. Yeah, this is always seems my way through. Maybe we could try to bomb them with some planes if we have to. Yeah, let's get some uh, on the trees. Here we come. Here we need 
Oh, now we're starting to pick up with the armored cars. Gotta deal with that right away. Nice. Those. Gotta be careful the tanks he has up there. Tanks would cause an issue. Also, we're gonna need to take out this anti aircraft gun if we want to get our planes in there. Bot builds quite a bit of units. Quite a bit of buildings, too. It's taking forever to cut my way through them. Let's get some of these in. Makayats. Need the planes? I don't know. Hopefully, we get to see some plane action before this uh, match ends. Mikaia, brutal. Supply depot has to go in there first, and then we need some oil. We have to build some oil wells, and then we can build an air airstrip. Start bombing them. Shooting down those fire planes first. On the kids. The sculptors don't hit the sculptors. Hmm. Yeah, by the time that goes up, I think we'll have enough of the planes to finish them off. Armored cars and the sculptors. Interesting combination. Are you in the supply depot? Man, this is too nasty today. Get some legendary upgrades on my decayants. I'll definitely do it via smoke farm. I'm gonna put the airfield down now. 
worried about here. Then we can start bombing him and getting those planes out of this guy. Uh, yeah, because remember, you can't actually kill planes from the ground unless you have an anti aircraft gun. Start getting some fighters first, and then we'll send in the bombers afterwards. Oh my, he, what, he had to target the airfield. He had to target the airfield. Because it's a wagon, you actually don't get the resources back if he destroys the foundation. Alright, let's get some fire planes. Ooh, the game crashed. That's weird. Probably couldn't handle my opinus. Well, it was a good game. And certainly enjoyed it. I like being able to really test the Bolivian Civ out with its new little uh, Civ bonuses as well as cards. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. We'll be looking to get you some more matches in the future. With the new uh, Chain Civs to the Great War patch. Hope to see you next time. Signing off now. See you later.